Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a consistent character in Stable Diffusion so the face is going to look exactly the same every single time. Now one of these methods will actually work across different models, the other not so much. So if you're going to do it with cartoons, it might glitch a little bit, but let's see how we can go. So what we need to do first is we're going to need a random name generator. Now this is an old system that we've been using for a few months now, but it works. And so what we need to do is come up with a name. So what we want first is we'll go with a feminine name. Uh, we'll ask of five options and a random surname. And let's see, we will pick, let's go Dutch and Spanish. Um, you can mess around with these as well, like to give you different variations and whatnot. So with this, it'll actually mix Dutch and Spanish and it'll create names that people have with those heritages. So we'll generate those and it'll give us five different names. As you can see, these aren't very common names. So you're not going to see an actor's name in this. This is crucial. If you're going to create a unique name or a unique character rather, you don't want to name it the same thing as an actor because then it will start making it look like that actor, even if that's not what you want. So let's go with this first one now. We'll go into Stable Diffusion. We're going to be using Realistic Vision 5.1. Um, let's see what it gives us there. We'll go with that as our sampler. Keep it at 20. Width and height. We don't have to mess with that yet. We just want to see what she looks like first. So we'll go to the random name generator and go with this one. Okay, we'll put that name in there. And what we'll do is I'll actually bump this up so it gives us more of a portrait. Okay. Yeah, that works. Boost this up to 10 randoms. But as you can see, for the most part, it's given us the same character. Like you can see perhaps this one and this one look different to the rest of them. This one looks a little bit younger, but for the most part, they all look pretty similar. Let's say we want to tighten this up a little bit. So we, let's say we want to bring this character here and bring it more in line with, let's say her here. There, and we'll send it over into in painting and we will select the face because we only want to edit the face at this point. All right, that one. So I'm going to open it up and actually drop it into our Roop tab. So now if you don't have Roop installed, you need to go into the extensions here. Available, now mine won't be showing up because I've already got it installed, but yours won't be. So you just write Roop, R-O-O-P in there. And just install it, restart Stable Diffusion, because if you don't, you might get some glitching. And this will show up. And we'll just drop it in there, enable that, let's generate it. It's changed the face closer to what we actually wanted. So we wanted it to be that more youthful sort of look. And as you can see, it's done that. See, this was the original, let's fix that. It doesn't look like that anymore looks like the younger version, which is great because this way we can actually, if we are going to create a Laura file with like the same picture, we don't have to render 10 billion photos just to get 30 good ones. The hair is going to be an issue if you want a specific style for your character. Um, so changing the hair with this system won't actually work. If you like this tutorial, let me know by pressing like and subscribe to this channel. It lets me know that this is the sort of content that you're into. Now, there's another version or another method that I tend to use as well. And that is, let's just restart this, put it at 1024 by 1024. Now, this is quite important. I've actually included white background um, in the description or in the prompt at 1.2 because we needed to have a white background. Now using control net, which I've shown you how to install in the previous video. So the, the link will be in one of these sides. What you'll do is you will need to load up this image that I'll be leaving in the description. I've created a face grid where you've got nine different angles of the same character. Now this will help you in case you're generating a face that looks to one of the sides up or down 
and I'll drop it into the first control net. Okay, enable that. Switch over to Canny, but we will turn the preprocessor off because we've already created the Canny. You can't see it here, it's all black, but it's all good. Uh, control net is more important. Now you'll notice that with these faces, sometimes certain angles don't look that great. We can actually fix this with painting, but it's not that crucial. What we just need is the shape of the face. So the we need the, the same angle of the eyebrows, the same shape of the nose, the lips. Um, it doesn't matter if it's not 100% because it's not actually going to take this image and plaster it on top of the other one. What it's actually going to do is take the shapes and then recreate the face using that. Okay, so that's perfectly fine for what we need. We'll just run off another one, see what it gives us. Yep, that's fine. So it's fixed some of the glitches. Sometimes if you run it a couple of times, it will either glitch out like crazy or fix some of the glitches. So we'll send that into PhotoP. We can actually take this image, crop it, export it as a JPEG. All right, so in this case, what we're gonna do is we've got the exact same prompt that we had before, but the only thing is I'm gonna take control net off go back to root and we're going to load up that small image that we just had a second ago okay so we're going to have that one we're going to enable that leave everything as it is and we're going to going to ask it to give us 10 images now every single image should have the same face or very similar let's see what it gives us root does take a little bit longer to process because what it's actually doing is it'll create the image and then it'll apply the other face on top of it with the face restore. Now usually I'm not a big fan of face restore because a lot of the images that I do aren't photorealistic. Um, so as I was saying before, if you're going to do a cartoon, I would go about using the name method. That will probably give you the same character over and over again. Uh, there are going to be some times where it will glitch out, it will change the hair color, it will change the, face of the, sh the shape of the face. Uh, but usually using the name when it comes to a cartoon character will actually work out. So let's see what it's given us. So as you can see, for the most part, it's pretty much the same character. Even hair-wise, some, sometimes it's given us like insanely long hair here. But for the most part, it's given us pretty similar hairstyles. Uh, for all of them, the makeup tends to be exactly the same. It hasn't really gone overly, you know, over the top. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, check out these other videos that I've got on my channel.